In this video, we are going to be looking at the courses validation property of a control, especially the button control. Uh, remember, we talk about the link button and the normal button control in ASP.NET. So sometimes you want to create a button, but you do not want the button to fire the validation controls in the page. Uh, the normal, the normal uh, behavior of buttons is that uh, whenever you click, they don't have you click a button, they send the form directly to the server. So the uh, form will also uh, fire all the validation controls on the page because before they send the uh, form to the server, they want to make sure that all the data have been validated. But sometimes you don't want this uh, behavior from a button. So for example, if you use the link button control we spoke about, but you only want to use the link to redirect user to another page. So if you do not set the causes validation property to false, then every time you click the button, the validation controls will be triggered. So uh, let me take you to VWD 2008 and give you an example of uh, what I mean by this. So this is the page that we, uh, this is the form that we created the last time. And uh, I've taken the time out to create another page so just like i always create a page you know how to create a page now i name it om.aspx and i just say you know very simple this is the home page you know you can format this and you know do all sort of funny things yeah and i said your operation was cancelled so what i want to do is uh, when i click on this button you can use this button to submit this form which is the one that is going to fire the um, validation controls if the fields are not validated at the same time, if I want to add this button so that if the user decide that, okay, I don't want to submit the form, I want to return to the home page. So because the normal behaviors of a button, for example, this one now, this button, this particular button, um, it has the cost, cost validation. Uh, if I, the default value is true, for every button control, the default value is true. So if I run this, uh, the website now if I click on the return to home page as you can see it fires the validation so what the causes validation does is you might you, you must know now you might have guessed now is if you set this causes validation to false that means it's not going to trigger the validation uh, controls on the page so what I've done is I've used uh, the C sharp code to say if I click on this button one then that means I want to transfer the page. I want to transfer the website to this page, the new page that I created, home.aspx. You can use the server to dot transfer uh, to transfer from one page to another page. You can also use another uh, method called uh, response.redirect. So um, there's an advantage and a disadvantage and the uh, reason why you want to use both, but uh, uh, just it doesn't really matter anyway. Just a simple example. So. Uh, let's go back to the uh, the page. So now that I have uh, set the I have set the uh, causes validation property to false, so that means it's not going to do what I expect it to do. So anytime I click the button, it's not going to uh, causes the validation on the page. Rather, it's going to allow me to transfer the page to the home page which is exactly uh, what he has done. So this is how you use the causes validation property of uh, the button control. So I just want to point your attention to this because sometimes you might need a button that does something apart from sending the, uh, sending the form to the server. So I hope that uh, makes sense to you and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.